Oh, wow, I'm tired today. Like, like tired, tired today. But Ellen brought me my coffee. Mm. I'm back to my Irish cream cold brew with one pump of syrup. Um, so I'm, I'm freaking so tired lately. Like I wake up in the morning and Adeline and I snuggle for so long because she climbs into our bed in the middle of the night and we snuggle and then we like lay there when we wake up. Reese has been sleeping in um, a lot later than usual. She normally will wake up around like 7 or 7.30 and then lately it's like 8.30, sometimes 8. It's like she's starting to love her sleep, so I love that. So, okay, this is the Mario, I don't know how to say the last name, Betescu skincare drying lotion. It's basically calamine lotion. When y'all were little, your parents might have used calamine lotion on your bug bites, but this is, it smells exactly like calamine lotion because it mostly is like, let's see, when I used it I was like, what? Yeah, calamine is the first ingredient in this, so yeah. I wonder if you could use this on bug bites. But anyway, I'm, I've been breaking out lately like crazy. And I don't like, I know it's just hormonal from the pregnancy. But, and I'm not going to dip the same side in. I'm going to dip the clean side in this time. Um, but I wonder if it's, I mean, I know it's got to be from the pregnancy. But I don't remember breaking out this bad when I'm pregnant. But it's definitely happening so I'm gonna let that sit on there for a while so y'all are gonna be the vlog is gonna have this on my face for a bit but I mean I'm, I have to do it so it just is what it is you know I love this little sweater that I'm wearing it is so comfy but still in stock I'll link it in the description of my video because I'm telling you this is a vibe like when you have to wake up and mom and you're just tired and you just want to like ugh, stay cozy but also look cute this sweater is it i think it's a splurge because it's free people if you guys know any dupes of it please let me know because i will share that too oh hi hello snuggle buggle hello are you so tired oh my gosh seeing zell in the bed reminds me of when we were um, living in Katy, when I first started vlogging, there was a morning that I was vlogging, I think it was like day in life with a newborn. I, Zell, I had already let her out to go potty before I started vlogging. And so in the clip, it was just had like music set behind it, I wasn't talking, and in the clip, I like opened the door to let Zell in, and people were like, oh my God, you make your dog sleep outside. Like I'm unfollowing. That is so messed up that you make your dog sleep outside. Girl, she has never slept outside a day in her life unless she wanted to at the ranch when she lived with my dad. Um, she sleeps under the covers. <laughs> Please. I'm filling up a bowl with hot water right now. Um, and these were in the fridge from last night. But we use, um, we use goat milk from a farm nearby. And so, I have, I usually get six jugs at a time, but their last day, their last day of feeding is the 23rd, and I think that's Friday. No way, it can't be Friday. Oh my gosh, that means they're almost done bottle feeding. Why is that so sad to me? But I need to go get one more jug out of the carport because they'll usually take about two and this one needs to be filled up. Also, before I do that, I wanted to show this to you, these shorts to you guys. We went yesterday to, um, why do I always get so blurred? I'm like, hello, how do I vlog? What is a camera? Um, we went to Margiano's for lunch yesterday. Oh, it was so good. It was so good, you guys. And then we did some returns at Nordstrom, and I found these shorts, and I immediately thought of Nick, and I was like, these are so cute. I'm going to set this on my diffuser so I can show you. I'll try to find a link for them. Um, they're Adidas. Nick is a large. But I thought they were so, I, I guess cute's not the word. I guess I was like, oh, those are like hot husband shorts. Hot daddy dilf shorts, right? You have a little pocket on the butt. We love this moment. So another thing I'll have to link for you guys. And then I got all of the girls natives. But Adeline's feet do not, like they cannot squeeze in. And so I feel like she's a 10. 
and I feel like when she tries to squeeze her feet in them, <laughs> they leave like the little circles on her feet and I'm just like, I want you to have natives because Skyla and Reese have them and they're so easy to put on and off and wash and all that. But I don't think they're gonna fit. I don't think they're gonna fit her. Yeah, this will definitely last us until the 23rd. So um, I'm thinking we could even use it for us if we go over. Okay, it's like chunky because it's raw. Hold on. Guess what? Dutchie has um, her uh, her appointment tomorrow. Her shave and her dental. So she's gonna be feeling a lot better because she's got a bad tooth. Do you want to taste that milk? I bet it's so yummy. You want to taste it, Dutchie? Look. Do you want to taste some? I'm gonna put some in a little bowl for you. Some goat milk. Dutchie, look, Dutchie. Taste some goat milk? What do you think? I'm sick for putting my cat on the counter, I know. All right, they're heating up. Do you want some goat milk? I knew you would lap that up, here. Your next Oreo. So these are the natives I got for the girls yesterday when I did my return. Um, I got an 11, good job Dutchie, an 11 for Skyla, a 10 for Adeline, and a 6 for Reese. But if they have wide feet, it's just so hard to get their feet to fit in them. I think someone told me they make a wide option actually. what happened but my brand new Dyson is not sucking anything Okay, I think this is gonna be as good as it gets for now. Um, they get food all in their um, car seats and I do my best to clean it out, but like there's like gummies and just stuff stuck everywhere. You can see inside here, she stuffed like cookies inside that hole and then I wiped all of that out. You should have seen it. It was so bad, but at least that's over with. What's under there? Okay, so it's only 10.40, but I, like this was in the fridge from yesterday. We went to Magiano's and I got one to take home and I haven't eaten yet today. So it's like, I'm craving it so bad and I'm about to heat it up. Okay, I just took off the Zit Cream and I put on my Young Living Glow Serum and I'm finally getting my lashes redone tomorrow. It has been 
I've been picking them and it's been a mess. But what I'm doing right now is finally unpacking from the weekend. So I'm putting everything up there that's clean and then I'm just organizing like that's dirty clothes and I'm just like organizing everything so that I can put it away. I just haven't had a chance to do this until now. And I'm listening to this audiobook by David Goggins called Can't Hurt Me. And it is so good. I cannot recommend it enough. from my oil and glass book this is amazing so it says here's a quick and easy preventative measure we like to take with the kiddos and ourselves it's helpful to apply this roller before preschool gymnastics the park or playground where our children will be touching shared services so the way you, it has how many drops you use of everything so here's my roller it's empty sometimes it's hard to get these out they make like these little tools to get them out but I always used to use my nails it's bad for them okay so it's Five drops purification. Five drops thieves. Oops. Okay. Three drops frankincense. Three drops lemon. One drop oregano. This one's optional, the oregano. And then you fill to the top with your carrier oil. So this is jojoba oil, but you can use any. I just use whatever I've got on hand. Girls are home. And that's it. And then your roller is ready to go and you just put it in your purse. Super cute. All right, everybody's been asking for updates of the plants. And I don't think they are fully dead. These actually just bloomed. Um, so, I mean, they're not looking as dapper as they did. Like, these guys don't look great, these vines. Um, they don't look as dapper as they did when we started, but they're still hanging in there, um, so far. I mean, you can see all the leaves in the mulch we are, that we'll have to blow out of here, but I'm surprised that they had, that they are actually just still thriving. This guy has grown crazy fast, like... I don't know how this blooms, I forgot. I thought it was hydrangea, but now that I see what the hydrangea leaves are like, I can tell that it's not. 
but we ordered this um, last summer and I don't know what it's gonna turn into but this is the only one that made it through the freeze from last summer and I want to kind of look online and see like what it was exactly that we ordered we ordered from Annie's annuals because I'm like so proud of it for growing up so tall I mean it doesn't really go in this pot now that it's grown up like that maybe I could take it out and replant it somewhere once I figure out what it is and what it should actually be planted in but it's super pretty okay so it's time to take Skyla to dance um, I have been doing this every time I get in my car lately because I'm obsessed but I've got my little macrame diffuser and I just put my oils on it because like I have stress away here and then I just put my oils on it every time I get in the car and it's just so like ah, I love it it's an addiction and so it's like the first thing that I see when I get in my car and um, I'm doing Stress Away, Peace and Calming, and Lavender. This is actually the first blend that I ever used because these three oils come in the starter kit. And I used these when I was trying to relax um, to go into labor with Reese. And so I guess it's kind of nostalgic when I put the three together, um, like, you know, as a blend. Ah, it's so good. Oh, by the way, we did get rid of the oleander because we were gonna plant it in the front yard, but everyone's like, that plant is so poisonous. Like, it's not even worth it. So, they're just sitting in the carport, but I'm, I was gonna give them away or like return them or something, but it's been a while since I bought them, so I don't think I can return them at this point. So, we just got a Starbucks in our town. Like, this is my first time going through the drive-thru. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get you started with? Hi, um, can I do a grande salted caramel cream cold brew with only one pump of syrup? With one pump of syrup? Yeah, just one pump. Alrighty. Um, and then a grande ice water and that'll be it. And a grande ice water? Yes. Of course. Alrighty, till it's 475, I'll see you at the window. Thank you. Okay, I've actually never ordered that before, but it was on the screen and it looked good. And I'm kind of over the Irish cream. I had that this morning. I feel like when you get a Starbucks in your town, you have arrived. <laughs> Everybody was saying that when we moved here, like, that this town would never amount to anything. But look at me now in the Starbucks drive through <laughs> It's good. I like it. I thought the salted situation would be weird, but it's not, it's not weird, it's good. All right, Skyla is inside her dance class right now. And now on today's episode of Erin Eats, I'm gonna order Chipotle to go. <sighs> what will I have today from Chipotle? We love a Chipotle drive-through moment. Y'all, the amount of salsa on this like leaking out, I truly cannot, but I'm still excited to eat All it. All right, we just got home, Skyla asked for a happy meal for dinner. So I got the kids happy meals because I'm mother of the year. Um, on activity nights, we usually do um, fast food and our activities are on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. <laughs> and then on, on the weekends, we eat out a lot too. So we're thriving. Are you excited about your happy meal? <laughs> yeah, she's so pumped. Come over here, Adeline. Sprite. Head this. Mommy's out of her camp for the last day. Watch this. Whoa, guys, that didn't even hurt this channel. Hi, this is me, my channel. This is Skyler's channel for today. And I'm channel. Get her a tippy nose. So I am going to use that to towel to wipe Reese's uh, mouth. How was your dinner? Mm. Y'all, I'm feeling like a mess today. My room is like totally upside down because the girls are always like at the end of the night. I don't know if y'all's y'all's kids are this way, but they're like hyped up, and I swear they just grab as much stuff as they can and throw it around the room like the pillows and the blankets and everything like off the floor and it's like everything in my room like ends up off the floor because they're so like hyper at the end of the day it's like i don't know what it is i don't know what it is about like 
5 p.m. until bedtime, but it's always chaos. And so I stripped my sheets because they got some uh, apples out of the fridge. Like, you know those apple sticks? <laughs> well, they've been sitting in the like bottom of the fruit drawer for God knows how long. So they were starting to get like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna puke, okay? I'm like thinking about this, like the texture. And Adeline like got some and like got on under the covers and was like tossing them like onto my sheets. And I thought that she was just chilling watching her iPad under there. No, I pull back the covers and there's just like apple smeared down the sheets. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm stripping these sheets immediately. And then I'm gonna go have some pasta. Look who's right here. Who's here? Two days until your makeover, Dutchie. Two days until your makeover, Dutchie Bear. Mm -hmm. I think he's gonna feel so much better when it's done. Yeah. So much better. Okay, righty then. All right guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I made myself a milkshake in true pregnant Aaron form. <laughs> and I'm gonna eat that and go to bed. So I'll see you in the next one, bye. <laughs>